if you're going to publish a course, do you think it's good to spread it around, to have it on the Fedora, have it on Udemy, have it on different platforms for different audiences? Because Udemy is not would, the only road to China, right? It's not the only way to make Right. I would be careful. Uh, I'll talk about myself. I'm very cautious. Uh, I put my courses where there's traffic. Right now, the only place is Udemy. There's a couple other places like Skillshare. Skillfeed, unfortunately, is going out, right? But uh, but, but I never really got to, to put my courses there on, on either of those. Uh, so right now, all I've got is Udemy and Fedora. And the only reason I use Fedora is when I've when I'm sending uh, sending a list, uh, uh, sending an email to my own list, and driving them to the Fedora site. And I'll even go. I'll send them to a PayPal button, so I get paid immediately. And then when they buy, they get taken to a free coupon to access the Fedora course. So that way, I get the money immediately instead of waiting a month and a half. That's, with that, Fedora. You know, that's a great workaround, Dave. And I, I think I need to understand exactly how that works one more time. Yeah, you absolutely. Send, you send your email list to the course, right? But when they go to the course, they see <clears throat> a price there or you tell them the price in the email? Well, what I do is, uh, for example, let, let me give you an example. Have you guys heard of the Warrior Forum? Yeah. The, the internet marketing forum okay i've sold a couple of wso's there and what i'll do is that's that's the way i get the traffic right uh i'll put the wso up i'll sell it for example i have one about amazon fba how to how to sell on amazon okay mm -hmm. i'll sell it on the warrior forum they pay me through paypal i have them I have them receive a pdf that contains instructions on how to access the course okay. And in that PDF is a free coupon link to the Fedora course. Mm -hmm. That's that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you could just automatically send them to the Fedora course through your coupon link where it's free because they've already paid you. So the, the very next step, as soon as they pay you, is it sends them automatically to this free access version, right? Uh, wow. Here's what I like about mm -hmm. this. Okay, for, first, you get paid immediately. But secondly... An issue that, that is very common on the Warrior Forum is people will buy your product and then refund you, refund it like same day or a few days later. Mm. And, it, and it's their way of getting the product for free, right? Because once they bought it, it's they're down, they've downloaded it, it's theirs. Yeah. And now they request a refund. And if you're a good person like I am, or if you're a halfway decent person, you need to <laughs> issue those refunds, right? So I issue the refund, but it always bothered me when it was very obvious that these people were just serial refunders. They were just trying to get the product for free. And it, it just, even now, 15 years later, it still bugs me, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> With Fedora, when they do that, when they refund it, any, if anyone refunds it, I don't care. I don't care if they seem like they're trying to scam me or not. If anyone refunds it, I can go into the Fedora course platform and delete them as a student off of that course. That's so now bad. they don't have access to the course anymore. Right. Uh, so it's just a little extra, I guess you could say a little extra satisfaction to know that you have that ability to kind of say, okay, you want your money back. I'm taking my course back. Fair is fair. You know? 